carousel training. The TALS carousels are used to store and dispense non-controlled medications and most importantly to assist in accurately maintaining our inventory. It is very important to only access the system under your own login. You will be given your own login once the training is complete. If you find the PC already logged in, log out and enter with your own credentials. When you are done, log out. You don't want someone making an error under your name. First, we will talk about carousel names and locations. In the sub-basement, there are four carousel locations. Vertical Carousel 1, or VC1. Vertical Carousel 2, or VC2. Central and Refrigerator Room. And in the seventh floor Satellite Pharmacy, there are VC1 and VC2. Next, let's discuss safety features. The carousel will stop spinning when one of the following occurs. The light beam is broken by an obstruction such as a bin or product sticking out, something brushes up against the bristles, or emergency power button is pushed. To allow the carousel to spin again, clear the obstruction by replacing the bin or product, clear the bristles, or release emergency power button, turn and pull button out. Press the green button to turn the carousel back on. Next we will go over med locations. Not all medications are kept in the auto farm system. Some are kept on the non-formulary wall and the cart fill area. Frequently confused brand name items are intentionally kept outside the carousel. One of the most common filling errors is failure to differentiate between brand and generic. The generics are kept in the carousel and on the cart fill wall. The carousels are organized by carousel name, shelf number, bin number, and pocket. Upon logging in, you will see the dispensing screen, which is organized by queue type, manual pick, internal orders, Pixis orders, and returns. When you first log on, the dispensing screen comes up automatically. This screen needs to be up for the carousel to spin. The queue display shows the number of orders in the active queue and hold queue. Each queue is then broken down by color. The color of the line represents the type of pick. Red is a manual pick, gray is an internal order, Blue is a Pixis order. Taupe is a return. Currently, we do not use the other pick types. The color of the line will help the picker distinguish where the order came from. To pick a single medication or list of medications, click the manual pick icon. It looks like a little hand pointing up as if to say, Pick me! You can search for a medication in the auto farm system by trade or generic name. It is important to pay attention to A locations and non-A locations. A locations are unit dose tablets. They share a bin with a bulk bottle of the same medication. Bulk bottle tablets are non-A locations. Once you have selected the medication, change the pick quantity to how many you are going to be removing from the bin. The pick quantity is very important. Inputting the correct quantity removed allows the carousel to reorder accurately. Remember, the primary function of the TALUS system is to maintain and reorder inventory. After you have selected the medication and filled out the pick quantity, you can choose another medication by selecting pick. If you are finished queuing up selections, choose pick and close. Once you hit pick and close, the carousel will spin The light bar will light up and the label will print. The location of the medication will be displayed on the light bar and on the screen. The spin to button allows the user to spin the carousel directly to the selected shelf if it didn't automatically spin on its own. The print button will reprint the label if you need another one or a quantity was changed desired quantity from bin. 
Be sure to push the bin back in completely. Scan the barcode on the medication package. The tick bar will clear when the transaction is complete. If the tick bar remains lit up, the transaction is still active. Do not walk away until the transaction is complete. If a selection still doesn't clear, try rescanning the barcode or refreshing the scanner. If you find there isn't enough medication in the bin, please tell the inventory control technician that we have run out. To begin the return process, select the restock tab from the dispensing screen. There are two types of returns, held and immediate. Held returns allows the user to create a queue to return multiple items. We generally reserve this function for the inventory control tech to refill the order. Use the immediate return type to put away medications returned to the pharmacy. Start the immediate return by scanning the item. The carousel will spin to the location and the tick bar will light up. Before placing the medication in the bin, be sure to change the quantity to reflect how many are actually being refilled into the carousel. A quality control check is required when refilling multiple packets of unit dosed medications. Perform a visual check of the items to ensure the unit dosed medications are all the same. Finish the transaction by scanning the correct bin and placing the medication inside. The Talus Auto Farm system is designed to safely and efficiently dispense medications for our patients while maintaining an accurate inventory. Remember, when using this system, pay attention to detail and always follow the procedures outlined. Proper usage of the system will help prevent delays in patient care. If you have any questions, please contact your supervisor or informatics team member.